Hey, what's up, guys? We're back. We're back again. Okay, today's project, let's just jump right in. Today's project is going to be, I'm going to try to print a flute, a Native American flute. It's going to be a quick project, I think. Um, I've made Native American flutes out of PVC pipe, and they're kind of easy, so I, I think, I don't see why it won't work on a printer. I didn't even look it up to see if other people have done this, because that's no fun. Um, okay, I'm just kind of jumping right in here. So let's make a long pipe, and I already measured one of my, I found one of my flutes that I made, um, and I took some measurements. So it's 22, hey, we're close. So it's 22 wide, you know, the pipe is 22 wide on the outer diameter come on now okay all right oops let's make this smoother okay we're gonna have to hollow it out so we're gonna duplicate so now there's two right here but let's hit hole so that made one of them transparent and let's make that one the wall thickness is two millimeters, so we have to go down by four millimeters. So it's two millimeters on each side. So let's, we're, we're basically making this, the cutout smaller. So let's go to 18 by 18. And then we can just center this. Let's see what, like that. This is a weird angle. Where's the other one? Oh, right here. There we go. See? Is it long enough? Yeah. It, yeah. Okay. And combine. La, 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 boop. Okay. Let's look through. Yep. Okay. We have our pipe. Okay. So we need to cut out, we're just going to cruise right along, because I don't even know if this is going to work, and if it doesn't play at all, um, then I won't even post this video. Unless you guys want to see a fail, no, 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 no. Okay, uh, we got to cut a hole for the airflow, okay, 35... I'll kind of show you how it works here while I'm doing this. Okay, 38 millimeters. Okay, hold on. Yeah, let's align these. This is a little cutout that we need to do, so... Oops. Okay, let's just select this. We only want to cut, we're going to cut a rectangle out of the top, so. Okay, it needs to go in by 36. Um, let's move it five millimeters at a time. So this is where you can change how fast you're moving stuff. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38. See, I just changed it to millimeters, and now that is 30, 38 from this. Okay, we can already do a combine a Rooney. There we go. Okay, so we are doing good. Okay, we need to make a plug, and I'll kind of start explaining how this thing makes sound in a second here. Um, okay, we have to make a little plug that fits inside of here. So let's do that now. Um, it can, it'll be solid. Okay, 64 sides. And it would have to be 18... So it has to fit inside here. This hole we cut in here was 18 by 18, but let's make it the ever so slightly smaller. Let's make it 17. 
17.9. I can always sand it because I, I want it kind of airtight. So 17.9 by 17.9. And how long did... Oh, I didn't measure the plug because the plug is in the... Okay, I'll have to make something up. Okay, so what happens is this plug, yeah, this plug goes inside of here. And when you blow air in this end, the air comes up here and travels across here and then gets split. We put an angle right here, which we're going to do. And we also put a cover right here to direct this air. So let's keep working on it. Um, is this, I feel like this should be, let's do 25 for the, oh, not 35. Let's do 25. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. So we have our plug in place. I mean, we're going to print that separate and put it in after. So let me show you. We got to put a little angle on this. I don't really know. I can always sand an angle into it with like by hand afterwards. Because I don't know if it'll print a good enough angle. I don't know. Okay, what did I say this? How wide was that? Six. So let's do... Let's do six. And let's align. It's a little goofy working with such a long shape here okay okay let's just put it above here um so so the air is going to come across this spot and it's going to split we got to split the air and that's what makes the whistle um, let's just pick an actual, you know what? I think it kind of looks like that. I'm just guessing. Yes, I like that. Let's, um, looks like it has to go down. Let's go to 10th of a millimeter. Yeah, I like that. Okay, let's combine. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's bring... Let me go back, actually. Let's... I'm going to make another copy of this just because it's right here and easy. Um, I'll show you why. Okay, let's combine these. Sweet, it's only been eight minutes. I'm actually, can I actually make a short video for once? I know people don't like sitting through super long videos. I just don't like cutting stuff out. And then people will be like, oh, what did you do when you cut that? And I'll be like, I, I don't know. I forgot. Okay, so see, I think this edge here is supposed to be, yeah, see, I think this edge is supposed to be flat across. See how it was curved? Okay, so let's combine. Yeah, ooh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, uh, we have our plug, and now we need, okay, how should we do this? We need a, a thing to snap over this, so like a cover, and... With, with the PVC pipes, you just take another piece of PVC and you kind of cut a little slit in it and you snap a little section of it over. So it's like a little cover because we need the air to be forced through here and onto this. Uh, so all we have to do really is just grab another one of these. Do, do, do. Uh, make it nice like that. Oh, make it smooth. And... Okay, 22. Let's actually also, let's make this one 23. I'm just guessing here. 
So let's do this, 23 by 23. Oops, I meant to do this number, 23. Okay, and now let's hollow it out. So let's duplicate. Turn one into a hole and make it four smaller. So 19. Okay, by 19. Okay, now let's uh, align. Okay, see, we're going to cut a tube group. Okay, and actually we're going to cut a section of this out so it can snap on. So let's, um, I'll probably just kind of guess for this part. Um, let's do this. Okay. Let me visualize here. So do you think we can snap that over? You get what I'm saying? So this will be a cut. Do you think we could force it over this? It'll snap on and it'll stay on. I think so. Let's go for it. Group. We're not messing around today. Uh, this definitely has to be longer though. So um, it's got to be a little longer than this. Because see, it'll fit right over here. Yeah, look. This is what it'll look like. Um, so it'll be, yeah, it'll be over. We'll, we'll snap it on there and we will print it separate because we don't want it attached. Because you could fine tune the sound by sliding this back and forth because that'll change how the air flows over this. So this we will print. We'll probably just print it just like that. Well, actually, we'll flip it over. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Okay. Um, if we really wanted it to snap on a little easier in case it's hard to push on there, we could just do something real quick. We're making good time, so, so don't yell at me, please. Okay, watch this. Flip it over. Let's do a quick little triangle. Wow, I'm cruising. Is it? Did I make some extra good coffee today? What time is it? 5.29 a.m. Align. Look at that. I aligned it already. See the gray dot? Oh, I am doing good. Okay, you, see what, you guys see what I'm doing? Uh, if we do this, it will help us snap that on because, see, it'll add... It'll add a little angle to this top. There. Okay, group. Yeah. That'll help us, uh, that'll help it snap on easier, I think. That'll be fine. Okay, so honestly, this part's done, but at the very end, I think we're going to add a mouthpiece. You can just blow into this, like, with the PVC pipes, I just put my mouth on here and blow into there but we can now that we're 3d printing okay i want to do it right now let's just do it now okay let's this will be so quick 22 um i can't see the other there let's do 22 by 22 because that's how wide our thing is um let's make it a kind of long Make it smooth by doing the steps all the way up. And then we'll hit duplicate. Turn one into a hole. I'm going to lower it down. You know, it's funny. It's actually easier to see if we turn both into a hole. Because then we can see how thick the walls were getting. So let's keep lowering this one down. And see, the farther we lower it, the thicker the walls are getting. So let's just kind of visualize so it's like a two. I see it kind of gets bigger and then narrower. Let's see, does that get even worse? Okay. 
That's fine, though. I don't really care. We're not going to futz with anything too crazy. I, this is fine. So watch this. Just go like this. Turn this one back. And... Huh. Watch this. Fast cheat. Uh, copy this one that we're about to cut. Why am I moving so slow? Jeez, come on. Let's turn it back. Because we also need to chop off the top of this. So the air, because, you know, to get at the airflow here. So let's do, let's try this. Watch this now. Combine all of these. Do we got air? Oh, that's not enough. Right? No, that's not enough flowage. Let's go down a little more on this one. There, now let's combine. I guess I might have made that too thick. Which makes me think, let's grab one more of these. You can always just copy stuff and grab it. Okay, let's grab one more. Let's Now let's see what it looks like. Okay, that's fine. Um, just to make sure we're getting good enough airflow. Let me see if I like this idea. What if we kind of open that up a little bit? I could have made the walls a little thinner, like they're kind of thick, but I don't want to go back. Because I'm, I only look forward. Okay, what about something like this? You know, open that up a little bit. Sure. And group. Okay, let's see. It's not restricted. Oh, oops. Yeah. That looks fine. That's gonna that's gonna be plenty of flow. Um okay. Let's quick see how it make sure it fits. I mean I'm sure it does. Yep. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. We'd have to go to this. There we go. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Okay, we got parts. So let's turn that one orange also. That one we can definitely... Oh, never mind. Duh. What am I doing? I was like, we got to print that separate. We're definitely not printing that one separate. Okay. I'm just looking at it quick. Wow, we're doing good. 18 minutes. We're making an instrument. Okay, uh, this part can come out. Okay, we can group these. Did I already do that? Okay, you know what's funny? All we have to do is make the holes in it, and we're done. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I already measured them, so let's get the hole out here. Sides. Okay, and the holes are 5.5. Okay, and we're going to start, oops, well, that's fine. Okay, let's line this up. There we go, and what the? Now, I, I, let's make sure I'm still aligned. See, I'm not. I already pushed something wrong. Okay, let's go to one millimeter. Come on now. Don't ruin my momentum. Okay, we have to go 65 in. 
I could use the ruler, but for some reason I don't like to. One, two, I mean 10. <laughs> I'm doing five at a time now. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, and 65. Okay, let's click off and back on because we're going to duplicate the next motion. Uh, okay, we're going to go... Let me just move it to one because um, we're going to duplicate the motion now. Uh-oh, we're not cutting through the bottom, are we? <laughs> we don't want holes in the bottom. There we go. Okay, now we want these 27 millimeters apart. So I'm just going to do this. Twenty-seven, and now watch, duplicate, and we want six holes, and there we go, and we can just combine and group. Bam, we're done. Twenty-one minutes, we made an instrument. Okay, let's check it out. Um, luckily, I have. You might have to make a smaller one. It'll just be high pitched if you scaled it down. It depends how big your printer is. I think I'll be able to fit. I'll be able to fit this on my any cubic Cobra Max like this, or we could try to print it upright. You know, it might be kind of shaky though. Like that's pretty long. So I think I'm gonna print it. I don't know. It's gonna be a little weird to print. I think I'll tip it. Maybe I'll tip it on its side. I think these holes will print better on the side than top or bottom. Um, but I don't know. It depends how good it does the top. It might be, you know, because I can't put supports in it. Um, awesome. This is cool. I, I'm i not used to having a design done so quick. Okay, I better stop jabbering then. Okay, let's just make sure. Air comes in there. We have the cover. We have the plug. And we have the holes. That's all we need. Okay. I'm going to print this out and we'll get right back to you. And there we go. The flute is done. Okay. So actually, this is the second time I printed it. So the first time, you know that little plug that goes in into it right here that's supposed to be movable? I printed that separately and it would not fit in. It, this gets too narrow because of the way it shrinks. So I couldn't get it in there. So I decided to print it again with it already installed. So I won't be able to slide this around. And who knows, that might be a problem. Um, <clears throat> I'll have to clean that up. Let's see if it comes over here. Obviously, I just have to clean everything up. Uh, let's see. So there is one little problem I'm seeing. So it, this little angle right here, it's hard to see because it's red and uh, let me see if I can focus. Focus. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, this right here needs to be a slant, like a perfectly sharp little edge for the air to split. So let me, uh, oh, here, this is coming off easy. La, la, la. There's some supports I got to get off of there, but maybe it won't work anyway, so I shouldn't waste too much time. All right, I'll get it cleaned up and I'll see if I can get it to play. Well, guys, I just took uh, took everything off or I took off the uh, brim and whatever and the support. And I wanted to show you how to put this on and I tested it out and this thing works. It's so crazy. I didn't do anything to this part. Um, so let me show you this part um, a little closer here. Uh, there. So... It's supposed to have this nice slant right here with a nice straight edge, but it printed kind of whack. So I thought I was going to have to, yeah, can you see it? I thought I was going to have to totally redo that little, like sand this. Uh, you might have to sand it into like a little angle right there, a downward slant. But actually, this works perfectly. I was just playing it. I'll show you. So this slides on, and you can adjust it by either going down like this, that's too far, it didn't play at all. And then up here, it actually played. Um, let me, 
Let me get the camera set up so you can see. Well, maybe I can just do it right here. I'll put on a concert for you guys. Okay, are you ready? Okay, is it focused? Sure. <clears throat> Why am I clearing my throat? I'm playing a flute. How was that? Watch this. Yay, we did it! <laughs> oh my gosh. We're going to have to make more instruments. I didn't know that would be so easy. Hmm, maybe mandolin, drums, more flutes. I don't know. I'm excited. That was great. Okay, make some flutes and learn how to play. That first song was Irish Washerwoman, right? I don't know. Awesome. Hey, if you guys like this one, hit like and subscribe, and I'll keep making videos every single day. If I, if I see subscribers, I'm going to make a new video every day. All right, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.